Dear friends in Christ Jesus, this is Bala Vinash Bitra, serving as a rector in San Damiano Capuchin Minor Seminary, Chhatrapur, Odisha, from Merimatha Capuchin Province, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, and Odisha. Well, as far as a formation is concerned, first thing that comes to my mind is to become a little brother, a lesser brother, and that's what the intention of St. Francis of Assisi to become a friar minor, a minor brother. And I remind myself every moment that I am a little brother to everyone. I am entrusted with the task of forming the younger brothers. Right now I have 26 brothers who are pursuing their studies in the initial stages of their formation. And I constantly tell myself that I am called to be an animator, a motivator. And I believe that the Holy Spirit is the first agent to guide and lead us in our day-to-day -day life because the Holy Spirit reveals that you are precious to me. You are precious to me. And I tell my brothers, God who called you in secret will never, never abandon you because God is ever merciful. Our God is a forgiving God. And formation is basically a transmission and acceptance of values such as like being genuine, being honest, being free, being open, being transparent in everything that you speak and in everything that you do. Capuchins taught me to be something, being something unique and that is really important in our life uniqueness and that's to be aware of oneself and deeply rooted in our identity through Franciscan charism. Loving the poor, serving every other as a loving brother in whatever way possible in the model of St. Francis of Assisi. Another important aspect in formation is conviction and that conviction regarding one's own occasion or call that one has been received. And this conviction is an ongoing formation or it's an ongoing process that has to be strengthened day by day. And one must be able to analyze that this conviction, either it is becoming stronger and stronger or weaker and weaker. And I personally feel that the religious formation is tremendous human formation to become more and more human, being human by the way of understanding the others, by comforting the other and by accepting the other he or she is, as he or she is. And that enables me to be more compassionate, to be more kind and to be more patient. With all these, I think I have grown a more human being and that gives me joy, a joy of being a capuchin, living a simple life by giving up possessions, properties and so on being only son to my parents, coming from a well-to-do family. It was nothing hard for me to transform my life because God's abundant blessings were upon me and I had good number of friends, our own Capuchin brothers who pray for me during the times of trials and difficulties. And that gave me all the more strength to move forward, to face the challenges instead of escaping from the realities, escaping from the situations. And I strongly believe every sacrifice that you make, for every sacrifice, there is a reward. Every sacrifice that you make will be rewarded. And that's what our life is all about, to make sacrifices, to sacrifice your life, a life-giving sacrifice, taking the humble and poor Christ as the best model. And this word really touches me from the gospel according to St. John chapter 15 verse 13. No greater love than this to lay down one's life for his friends. Yes, dear friends, I believe that I, called, I am called for this great, greater sacrifice that even at the cost of my life, never hurt the other, never humiliate the other, never belittle the other. And here comes the question of who is my neighbor? For me, every other is a brother, a loving brother. Taking the inspiration from Ratio Formationis, in the first chapter we see Francis, our brother, 
that all are equal. It's up to everyone to work with their hands. One's place of origin does not count. And that shows that every other is a brother. And I feel that the document is very relevant today because it highlights the purpose and priority of being a lesser brother, a minor friar. And it focuses on the world that what we are and not what we have is the greatest treasure in their life. And we have to be instrumental in the process of transforming the world. And in the words of Pope Francis, our Holy Father, world without walls, world without wars, world without poverty is still possible. And perfect joy lies in fulfilling these in the world. And this joy lies when we persevere in our vocation to go on being a brother to all without being or claiming anything as your own. In conclusion, may we take the inspiration of St. Francis of Assisi and make that inspiration alive in our life's journey and be a joyful capuchin to serve the whole humanity. May God bless every one of us. Thank you.